becomes a sea. The seas that advanced and inundated the desert were warm and shallow. They deposited layers of limestone and sandstones. Time has weathered these sediments to peaks and pinnacles. Fossilized in them is abundant evidence of the new forms burgeoning beneath the seas. Mollusks, corals, sponges, sea lilies, and the tooth of a shark that cruised these waters some 200 million years ago. and the seas withdraw once more, exposing the land. In the period following the retreat of the seas, life flourished. Great evergreen trees grew to heights of 200 feet, and animals were growing to unprecedented sizes. An early ancestor of the crocodile, the phytosaur, left his bones in the accumulating muds, to be unearthed again with the passage of time. In the petrified forest are some of the remains of those great evergreen forests. Now incongruously stranded in sand and exposed by erosion, they were carried here, floated along by turbulent rivers until they came to rest. A 200 million year old log jam. Over many years, these logs began to decay, but as they did so, mineral silica in the water replaced the decaying wood, part for part, preserving a replica in stone. In some cases, the water that seeped into them carried iron and manganese to stain the original into a brilliant array of colors. and generations of great creatures walk upon the land. About 160 million years ago, the world saw some of the largest creatures ever to walk the earth. The age of the dinosaur had begun. These huge lizard-like animals are indeed well named, for dinosaur means terrible lizard. 
they enjoyed a tenure here that was proportionate to their bulk. For nearly 150 million years, they ruled unchallenged. Some, armored like tanks, were gentle herbivores, browsers of soft plants and grasses. Others, equipped with razor-sharp teeth and claws, were savage carnivores. These huge creatures had surprisingly small brain cavities and very little, if any, intelligence. Whether it was a climatic change or something as simple as a primitive mammal with a taste for their eggs has never been determined. But these immense creatures filed out of history and into extinction as surely as all that preceded them. Time passes. And a river wears away at the land. Over the next 100 million years, through the age of the mammals and the long prelude leading to the evolution of man, a river flowed persistently across the Grand Canyon area. As the plateau began to rise stubbornly, almost imperceptibly, the river chewed away at two billion years of accumulated deposits. Beyond the canyon, these centuries saw the passing of four great ice ages. And the slow evolution from ape to man. As past moved into present, the river wore ever deeper, exposing one half of the history of the earth. And the rains carved the peaks above it. Finally, only 3,500 years ago, the first traces of a new species of animal appeared on the Grand Canyon Plateau. It was the first announcement here of the advent of another age. generation of creatures thrives upon the land. remains the briefest tale of all.